good morning. So today I wanted to talk about, on my commute into work, a question I got on the community tab. I asked you guys if you wanted to know anything about commuting or video topics. And someone asked a really good question about backpacks. So why do I prefer to commute with a backpack as opposed to maybe a rear rack and panniers or front basket and a basket bag. So we're gonna talk about that. So before I dive into it, I do wanna say that I'm not trying to pick a side. I think it's so dumb on the internet how people make cycling very black and white. Like you either wear Lycra or you don't. Why can't we be both? Why can't you wear Lycra on some days? And why can't you wear regular clothes on other days? So I don't wanna make this video about that because I've definitely commuted with a basket and love that setup. But right now, I'm obviously into the backpack. One of the reasons is uh, getting my stuff together in the house in the morning or the day before. You guys saw me this morning prepping my stuff. So I usually work in whatever bottoms I'm riding in. So right now I have these or not mission shorts. And then I will switch to some sort of work shirt. Usually it's like an Under Armour polo. A backpack lets me just throw that shirt in here and then just change my top when I get to work. So I'll switch the top at work. I'll show you guys kind of what I have. If you have a place at work where you can store some stuff, some clothes, some shoes, take advantage of it. That being said, there's very clear disadvantages to commuting with a backpack. Obviously it's the upper body sweat. You get the strap stains of sweat and then the back. If you're willing to change at work, it's really not that big of a deal. I have about a four mile commute into work and it's all uphill. It's not too bad uphill, but it's slightly uphill. Of course, I'm not dry when I get to work, but uh, just changing the top does the trick. I also keep a little deodorant at work in case I need to re-up. One of the benefits I find when you have a backpack on is you can throw your bike around, hop on and off curbs. Not that you can't do it with a rack, definitely doable with a rack. But with a backpack on it, your bike is just your bike, so your torso might feel a little heavier, but your bike is light and nimble and you can still do that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm almost to work. I'll show you guys a little bit of what the work setup looks like. Got a little space, put extra shirts. I put a sweater here, button up if I need it, another button up. But usually the shirt I need is in here. Also got some shoes. In case I don't ever want to commute with the shoes in my backpack, I just have extra shoes. There's an apple shoe. There we go. And yeah, I'm a little bit sweaty, but feels good. That's why I'm headed home after soccer practice. I usually take my shoes back home, but uh, I really only use these at the gym or for a full day of work. So I'm gonna leave them there for tomorrow and then take them home tomorrow before I go to the gym.
another big reason for me is uh, the ability to park my bike, lock it up somewhere, and then have everything on it just come with me easy. But things like panniers and stuff just don't work for me. I know there's some that you can detach easily and such, but I don't want to think about it even that much. I just want to get to the spot, lock up my bike, and basically be ready to go. So us, much like uh, most families, well, I think it's most families, uh, forget one or two items during our big shopping haul. So I actually find myself stopping at the store more often than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Another reason why I wear a backpack on these commutes is because the bike I'm riding, the Kona Rove, isn't a dedicated commuter for me. It's a bike I take out on weekend rides. So like throwing on a rack while I have done that just becomes a little cumbersome because I don't want the rack when I'm riding just recreationally. And you'll realize right now it's pretty bare. It doesn't have like the or not bar bag and stuff because I like to be able to lock it up without having to worry about um, taking the bags off and you know, storing them somewhere or like them potentially being stolen. So that's gonna change real soon though. Working with the bike company to potentially get a commuter. So like a dedicated commuter and it's a great looking commuter at a great price point. I'll say that much so I won't spoil what bike it is. Let me know in the comments your, your guesses. But yeah, we're here finishing up the commute. Let's wrap this up. So that is it for this video. I know I will get this question, so I'll mention it. This is a Peak Design Everyday Backpack. That's what I use for most of my commutes. Sometimes I take some of my Chrome bags. What I really like about this bag is like I showed you guys in the morning clip, your organization so I can have my lunch in a certain place, I know where my work keys live, I know where my home keys live, things like that. It's really not the best ergonomically, but I'm willing to sacrifice that a little bit for the organization compartments it has. This is the 30 liter version, don't know if I just said that. I had the 20 liter version and it was a great bag, but I just needed a little bit more space. So there you go. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys do? Do you guys ride with a backpack or do you do rack or basket? Again, didn't make this video to separate the cycling community. I just made it share my perspective. So hope this helps anyone out there. If you did like or enjoy this video, make sure to drop it a like. And if you're new around here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing.